So the siege of Mecca has begun, and I'm a little worried because more than likely we might end up losing a battleship or two uh, with this siege, just because there's really not that much space over there, and I'm just I'm trying my best to to make this as, as efficient as possible, but we still are waiting for our carrier with two nukes. Uh, it's on its way, but we still have to wait for that anyways. So let us begin. Here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and, and try to make our... Or say, I guess try to make it as safe as possible, but we'll see. We do have an Egyptian bazooka that's coming after us. We also have another infantry unit that's still trying to take over their city. They're still trying to take their city back. Uh, pretty frustrating because I just want to attack Mecca. But, I mean, I might just need to bomb Mecca. Use one bomb for Mecca. I don't think I need to do two bombs on Thebes, even though I would like it. Um, it, it, would be, it would be pretty helpful. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Damn it. Damn it, you guys you couldn't finish the job there. You just couldn't finish the job. Okay, so that's that's everything for now. Um, I, I have I have four total nukes coming. I have four total nukes. Manila's gonna finish their nuke in five turns. Uh, where is one carrier? So I have one carrier. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going the most efficient way possible, right? You are, okay. Just making sure it's very crucial that you get there on time. Now what are all these deals that just ended? I just got a bunch of deals. So, uh, open borders with Gandhi, open borders with, uh, okay, nothing. Who am I attacking? Oh, okay. Yeah, workers, whatever. So, uh, un unidentified spy stole atomic theory from Kyoto. What the hell is my spy doing in there? I'm trying to protect that shit from happening, but it's not doing anything. Themes has uncovered that Ramsey's secretly plotting against, uh, oh, shit, I should have told him that. Uh, I should have told, I should have told Ethiopia that. I don't know if that would have helped. He didn't want to go to war with them, though. It might have just, you know, improved our relationship. What the fuck, dude? Why? Don't be scared. You're so scared. Tired of be I'm tired of seeing your scaredness. Uh-oh. Egypt just made peace with Persia, finally. Uh, this might be interesting. Oh, and you just opened yourself up to a whole lot more uh, military damage. We actually might not be able to begin the Siege of Mecca just yet. We might just need to sit back, relax, start picking off units. Um... Again, that's been a big, big part of my strategy of just doing that, just continuing to pick off units because I think Ethiopia will eventually join in. I think maybe the Ottomans may join in. Greece now has their own uh, Manhattan Project up. We might see, if a huge world war breaks out, we could see an ent a, a World War III scenario of just nuclear bombs everywhere. I know that I know that Catherine's got to have, yeah, she's got four uranium, which means she actually has eight uranium. Holy crap. Okay, well, luckily Persia has just reached out and saved the world. I mean, imagine if she had 16 uranium. The AI isn't really, I mean, I don't know. Catherine's been pretty peaceful in this game for the most part, at least as far as I know. She hasn't really been super, I don't know, uh, all attacky and stuff like that, If you know what I mean? So, I don't know, we, we might, it depends. It really depends on a few things here. Um... But I, 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 if she does, if she does decide to go to war with somebody, she can nuke like eight cities. She can nuke all of the Ottoman territory, every single one. If she doesn't, if she, she, just, she might not even want to keep it. She might just want to take away some of their population. I don't even mind that. Like that might be something I should keep in mind. Maybe I shouldn't even take over Thebes. Maybe I should just destroy its population so it's not creating as much science output as it, as it was. Uh, that should do significant damage to it. Uh, just the big population cities. I would love to nuke Memphis. Memphis needs to be nuked. It's it's way too highly populated. Um, that would be pretty helpful. Okay, let's let's definitely destroy this one. Let's destroy this one. All right, good, good, good. Okay, so that's it. There's more damn this crap, and it's not even letting our, our city heal. Our our city does not have enough time to heal because more and more units, Egyptian units. Eventually they'll stop though. Eventually they they will stop. We're at five battleships. Okay, yeah. So we can't do any more than that. Everyone stay there. Okay, so uh, now, oh, three turns for combined arms. I like it. Choose production. So we finished a harbor in Perth. So we've connected our, our city. Uh, I guess we can go for maybe a lighthouse that might be okay. What other deals have just ended? Research agreement. Okay, that's why. Research agreement's just finished up. A couple of friendships have, have been finished up as well. Apollo program in four turns. Then we can build We can build two spaceship... Actually, we can build a total of four spaceship parts. Uh, three SS boosters and then... Uh, what was the other thing? I, I forgot. We just discovered the tech, though. So we can build four of the six spaceship parts. I, I, it's going to take us a while, though, because my cities have very, 
very bad hammer production. Um, so I, that would be an issue. Also, do I have enough? I have enough faith to get a, a to get up a. I'm sorry. Was a, a great prophet, a great prophet in 1942, of Shintoism, spreading Shintoism in 1942. So so far, I mean, I guess uh, the historical scenario really is uh, kind of not as historic. I mean, there's no world war that broke out in uh, in around this time. So. Oh, sad face. I mean, technically, maybe. I mean, this is a pretty big war. Uh, Japan going to war with... Oh, yeah. Why not? Screw it. Why not? This is a pretty big war that's going on right now, actually, between myself and Egypt. But it's not a world war at all. In any case, it's definitely not a world war. But if, if some people wanted to join in, then that would be nice. What is this? Uh, tours from lands? Okay. The amazing... Okay. Uh, you're, are you sucking up to us, or are you... I think, yeah, you're sucking up to us. Actually, you know what? We, oh, oh, it's so close. But I don't think Mongolia is going to be able to get past the choke point. Again, AI can't do the choke points. Just like the Egyptian AI can't come attack me in the array. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, maybe they can. Uh, they're going to have a chance here. Actually, might even want, I might not even want to destroy this rocket artillery just because, well, I, I might just not want to destroy it because they're going to be dumb, and they're not going to use their infantry unit to, to move up here in the way. I don't think. I don't think. We, we will see. But before I forget, let's go ahead and, and get our Great Prophet going on here. Purchase and Great Prophet. Okay, I don't know where we're going to send you, but I wanted to get it for you. I, I wanted to start it up. Okay, and let's see. Maybe, maybe is... Uh, I mean, I do want to start constructing another nuke inside of Perth just because it has a pretty good location. Also, maybe a nuclear missile would be great as well. Uh, they're going to do a little bit more damage, which would be nice. As for now, just build a garden, I guess. I mean, maybe you can get a great scientist going on here or something. A library for science, and I will try. I will... Nope, 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 nope. I will try to be... No, not her either. <laughs> I would like to be the World Congress leader. If you would like me, people. Okay, land units. Oh, man, there's a lot of land units now that they're coming after me. Looks like we're not doing as much damage as we initially maybe thought. Uh, I might need to recruit my own infantry unit a bit here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that because this guy is really crucial to keep alive. Just in case, just in case. Oh, because I got that research agreement, though, I cannot, in fact, uh, upgrade one of my destroy or privateers to a destroyer. That could have been useful, but not that useful. Mecha's got huge defenses, 126 combat city strength. That's a little bit scary. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a little bit scary. Okay, let's get some more land unit attack. Awesome. Okay, so can we destroy this guy? Really? Oh, yes, perfect. Persia's got the Manhattan Project up. We've got a city-state connection between Perth and Kyoto, and we have another... Oh, Chinese spy in Kyoto uh, signed, trying to steal technology. I'm going to denounce you, because everyone hates you anyways. And uh, maybe that'll... No, it's not going to stop you. More than likely, it's going to make you only keep going. Um, I, I don't care. Well, her face was looking weird there. Did you see those textures? She had a weird, just darker face. I don't know if that's normal if she, when she's mad. We're doing 40 gold per turn. Who would have thought the day would come when we were going to do 40 gold per turn right now? Damn, that's that's crazy. Also, look at these. Uh, I didn't even see the small pocket of, of Persians uh, right here between the uh, Russian Empire. I did not even see that. Jeez. Who would have thunk that? Uh, open borders with Alexander. I'm going to refuse this. I don't really have a reason why, but... I just don't, th I don't see a reason to do it. Gandhi's got the Apollo program up. Uh, we, we've can eliminate a few more troops here. I, I, I would like to, you know what, we've probably already took Egypt's number one military power away in this world. More than likely we've done that much damage. Um, we clearly are the only people that have built nukes. Oh, and the great admiral is here. Yes, it is about time. Where's my carrier at? Okay, you're, you're, you're getting there. You're getting there. We might just need to sit back and defend while we wait for the nukes to come. Wait for the nukes to be on their way. Manila is almost going to finish it up. Three more turns. Okay. So we just got to wait. I might not even try to attack Mecca right now. There's no point. Might be a good idea. No. No, 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 Mongolia. Hell no. Hell no. You scare the shit out of me, buddy. Sorry. 
But the good thing is, though, I, I did I did forget about just kind of like the geographical like location of of my uh, my Korean Peninsula controlled city is that there's there's so many there's it's such a great spot to defend. You've got two rivers, which is going to take up one movement uh, per move. I, I know Mon well, Mongolia can't construct any sort of navy because these are two puppeted uh, Chinese cities. Mongolia probably has no interest at all. It, Mongolia probably doesn't even know what a boat is. Genghis Khan doesn't even know what a boat is. He knows what horses are. He doesn't know what anything else is. Every The entire world is afraid. Seriously, that's crazy. Everyone's happy that I'm... Wow, yes, the entire world is afraid. Is... Uh, we don't know exactly how Egypt is feeling right now. Enemy has been spotted. Okay, I, I do want to check if I've lowered uh, Ramsey's military manpower. Has it been lowered? It uh, It's still number one. It's still number one, but I think maybe that should change after this. Yeah, that, may that may in fact change right after this. Let's go and destroy this unit. Where are you going? I don't even know where you're going, dude. All right, good. Okay, pretty good. Um, <clears throat> let's let's take out this last remaining embarked units. I mean, they're gonna keep doing that. They're gonna keep doing that. So I mean, we'll just sit here and pick them off while we wait for the great admiral to get his ass over here. Damn! No wonder it took you forever. You could not embark worth a shit. Okay, you're gonna heal. Did I attack with you? You might have already attacked. No, you didn't attack. Yeah, no, you didn't attack. You're good. And I'm gonna back this guy up behind the mountain, so he should be safe. Okay, so uh, is there any sort of Shintoism that has not been spread? to any sort of non-religious cities now in 1944. Uh, we still have lots of Gandhi cities, but we, we're looking for cities, not population. We don't care about population. We, I mean, we don't care about cities. We care about just pure... Uh, I'm sorry, we don't care about population. We just care about cities in general. We can change a lot of these pro pro Protestantism cities. There are quite a few, actually. We might be able to convert these guys. Let's go ahead and send them back down to Australia. It seems to be our best bet for small but you know abundant cities. And I guess we'll go Opera House. Okay, and then we'll go Harbor, I guess. Guided Missile. There's no point in anything else. I just don't think there's anything else to build. Uh, we actually might know. No, there's 31 turns away uh, from the next social policy. Siam and Greece have tied. Okay, so I, I believe Greece keeps his title. Was that for the world leader or was that for... Uh, yeah, that was... Yeah, that's, that's, it's United Nations. Yeah, of course, yeah. I don't know why I got confused there. Yeah, that's that's definitely not gonna win. And how fast how fast can you get there? Five turns. Okay, so it means we could probably drop a nuke in seven turns. About seven turns, we'll be able to drop a nuke. Um, and we might just do one in Mecca, so we can walk in there. If we have enough gold by then, we hopefully will be able to also upgrade a privateer to a destroyer, just so we can walk in there. Um, oh shit! Maybe it's not a good idea yet. Maybe I should just save it for twice in Thebes. Twice in Thebes. Then when the second carrier comes with two more, we go twice in Memphis. That might be enough, but we also have this city to work. Wow, the population is fucking cra crazy. We've got 240, we got 35, 34, 25, 25, 16. So much growth in Africa. I don't even know. I mean, they must have got some really big wonders up or some really big uh, food wonders. I mean, yeah, Delhi's got that 40 population city practically, but... Uh, but damn, they only have, you know, it's only one. Everything else is like in the 20s, which isn't that impressive. Uh, not very impressive at all. I mean, look at our cities. We don't even have, oh, Nagasaki actually has our only city that has one. Uh, that We only have one city that with 20 population. That's sad. What the hell is going on here? Perth at 14, Canberra at, uh, what is it, whatever that was, Pearl Harbor at 8. Our newly acquired cities just south of the Arabian Peninsula are at 2 and 2. Oh, let's not forget about the best city ever, though. Uranium City. I completely forgot about that city for, uh, for a very long time. I completely forgot about that. So, Zulu and China have made peace. I think we're going to start to see, finally, people start to make peace. That coalition probably didn't do much. I don't think anyone was going to war. India did, in fact, take the city away from Korea. We saw this a few videos ago. I don't know if you guys probably noticed it, but I just noticed it right now. Um... This was a Korean city before, and it was being sieged out by somebody. I guess it was a Korean Navy. I'm sorry, an Indian Navy. Well, good for them. Okay, we're going to continue down our path, I guess. I guess we'll just rush nanotechnology, and we'll see how it goes. I guess so. We'll see how it goes. Oh, man, baby. Okay, so uh, let's make sure that we destroy this mobile SAM. 
And then this marine unit. Oh, crap. I really don't want to attack like that. Oh, this is, this is not good. We are getting kind of attacked from all sides here. We've got a Sunghai Cavalry unit for some reason in our territory. Oh, here we go. Let's get our Great Admiral so we can attack a little bit better. And I need to attack the infantry units. Okay, that should be enough to... I think we should be fine. We should be still keeping it safe. Perth, man, you're, you're building stuff too fast. I don't even know what to do with you. Okay, there we go. Just like that. And, oh, we can still attack here. Let's... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move him a little bit, actually. Get him in better range of this infantry unit, just in case. Although, should I go for the kill? Let's go for the kill. Let's go for this kill instead. We weren't going to be able to kill that other infantry unit anyways, so the kill is obviously much better. One more turn for the... Uh, for the next, for my fourth atomic bomb finishing up. Okay, let's go to India. I really, I know I was talking about a few videos ago to go to war with India. I really should not do that. That's a probably a pretty bad idea just because most of my economy is reliant on the Indian trade routes that I've got sent. Um, how much is it going to cost for a destroyer? I believe it's 700 gold or something like that. I believe it's 700 or something. Uh, we're going to find out. Yeah, definitely we're going to move Ramsey says from the top spot in there. In terms of their military and stuff like that, we're, we're going to move them down from their top spot. India and Morocco are now friends. We also have Egypt and Siam Declaration of Friendships. All right, guys, okay, I'm going to have to stand this one a little bit early. Uh, we are at turn 30, 365. I don't think we have got too much longer in this series to go. Uh, it really depends, though. Um, Egypt only has built one more ship left. Um, but it's, it seems to be when the AI starts to kind of roll do towards a victory, they just start to really just snowball. It's just like, boom, you know, spaceship parts, spaceship parts, spaceship part, game over. So uh, that's, I mean, that's usually kind of how I I've seen it when I've, I've noticed the AI is about to win a science victory. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.